The NXT Championship is currently around the waist, over the shoulder, in the arm, or maybe sometimes in the teeth of a second generation standout on the verge of being a WWE megastar. Let's break them down, but with two Ks. Bron Breaker, born Bronson Rex Steiner, October the 24th, 1997. He is one of three brothers, Hudson and Maverick, who I believe are electricians and carpenters, always useful to have around, and the son of Rick and Jamie Rex Steiner. Bronson was the standout early on at Etowa High School's football team. It's a team that Johnny Swinger played for. That's right, Johnny Swinger, the guy you've seen on Impact that time and on wrestling shows across the, the 90s. That one. He'd later go on to Kennesaw State University. He would play for Kennesaw State Owls, go Owls, whilst getting a major in criminal justice. Imagine him on prosecution. You, you plead guilty immediately. <laughs> Bronson loved football, but he made it clear that once he went as far as he possibly could with the whole football thing, he wanted to head into his dad's shadow, following his dad's footsteps and into the world of wrestling. He channeled Bill Goldberg when he was playing for Kennesaw, did an interview where he said that fiery intensity was something that he really admired and the way that he transitioned from working in the football game into the wrestling game was something he was really into. So Goldberg was an early inspiration for Bron Breaker. You kind of see here as well. The final stop for Bronson Rex Steiner's football career was a short run as a fullback for the Baltimore Ravens. He was brought in as a fullback despite the fact they already had one. They were looking just to bolster their squad with the Ravens and it never really went the way that he or the Ravens hoped. He was gone by August and it was then when he decided to, to, to fulfill what he said he was going to do. Once he realized he went as far as he could with the football world, he was going to become a professional wrestler. Follow in the family business. Not, not being electrician, that's, that's Maverick's game that is. Imagine him wiring your house. You plead guilty immediately. Uh, Bronson's wrestling debut came in October of 2020. It was at a co-promoted show between AWF and WOW in Ring Gold, Georgia. It was just as the world was still fighting a global pandemic. There were wrestling shows just about coming back. And it was in October of 2020 that Scott Steiner introduced those in attendance that night at the Circus Tent Arena to the Sun of the dog face gremlin, his nephew, Bronson. And it was Bronson, one-on-one -on -one with Jamie Bell, that started his wrestling career. Uh, a match that is, in, com in comparison to you know, where we're at today, a little slow, a little nervous, there's a military press slam that almost looks like it goes a bit awry, but there was enough in there for WWE to go, we need to take a closer look at this guy. And it was off the back of that match that WWE offered Bronson Steiner a tryout at the Performance Center. And it wasn't long after that that he signed on the dotted line. We had the typical gray shirted profile picture of Bronson Rex Steiner, the rage entering the machine, being announced as the latest recruit for the Performance Center at WWE. It was the same, the same batch of new recruits as a man by the name of Parker Bordreau. Loads of people were talking about Parker Bordreau. He was the guy that looked like Brock Lesnar, but younger. And it was Paul Levesque in a press conference who quietly mentioned, oh, by the way, as well as Parker Bordreau, oh, by the way, uh, the son of Rick Stein is here as well. Just a quiet little mention as, as Bronson slid into the performance center. We first saw Bronson in a WWE capacity a little while before NXT 2.0 was even a thing. It was it was our WrestleMania backlash. Remember the zombie lumberjack match? It was the thing they did to cash in on Batista's movie Army of the Dead. Well, there was quite a few performance center recruits around the ring that night, including our boy Bronson. You'll see him in the Gareth Southgate looking vest and shirt combo on the right hand side of the ring. Oh look, there he is, next to Andre Chase. Ha ha ha, they don't teach you that at Andre Chase University. It's a little, it's 
It's a little joke there from the wrestling. And one thing that happened whilst this was going on was that Bronson was going to daily training at the Performance Center and reports were glowing about how Bronson was getting on. There was a real passion, a work ethic, and he was picking it up really well to the point where they were going to be utilizing Bronson among other recruits at the Performance Center in possibly the most ambitious rebranding WWE has done in many years, that being NXT 2.0. A lot has been said about WWE completely blowing up the Triple H vision of the Super Indie and replacing it with, well, a developmental territory uh, in every sense of the word. But uh, Bronson was gonna play quite an important part in this change-up, and in fact, a central part in that change-up. In the run-up to NXT 2.0's debut, when those were briefed about what they were gonna be doing, Bronson was under the impression he was going under the name Rex Steiner, playing off, of course, the dog-faced gremlin Rick Steiner, his dad, and leaning into that heritage. Now, before that started, as you and I know, he became Bron Breaker. Scratched our heads over this, didn't we? We weren't quite sure why you wouldn't lean into that great family heritage. But the school of thought that comes from this is the fact that whilst WWE, WWE does have uh, now, it seems, a good relationship with the Steiners, it's never had the strongest relationship with Rick and Scott Steiner. So why put yourselves in a potential PR nightmare and a battle over a surname when you can simply build somebody from the ground up with a property and an intellectual property that you completely own yourself? Plus, by adding the extra K in Breaker, it is completely yours. 100% wholesale, a name that belongs to you. It's a wonder why they don't necessarily lean into that family history as much. Personally, I believe this is something we'll see down the line. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So we get Bron Breaker, and whilst the, the name change was a head-scratcher, there, were, there was no question about how WWE perceived Bron Breaker in terms of how he was going to fit into this landscape because he was the first one of the first new faces we saw the first new face that we saw on NXT 2.0 he beat LA Knight in relatively dominant fashion in the first match and ended the night staring at Tommaso Ciampa's newly won NXT championship no doubt in anyone's mind that Bron Breaker was a key player in NXT 2.0 he came up short against Tommaso Ciampa at Halloween Havoc even had a run in with one of his dad's old mates in Chucky from Child's Play but he would officially change the guard at the beginning of this year at New Year's Evil, defeating Tommaso Ciampa to become the NXT champion. Even got to celebrate with his dad in the ring as well. Sky is truly the limit for Bron Breaker in 2022. We came very close to seeing Bron Breaker as part of the Royal Rumble this year. There were conversations about utilizing Breaker in that match to eliminate a couple of people. We were also seeing Bron Breaker at time of recording, starting out on a rivalry with Dolph Ziggler from Monday Night Raw. So there is clearly some big ideas in the works for Bron Breaker. Also, it was late last year where Bron Breaker was called to be a part of the SmackDown side of the UK tour. Again, WWE just trying out, trying out to see how he looks as part of the main roster. And for now, it looks as if he's going to be heading up NXT 2.0. But do not be surprised if there are bigger things afoot for Bron Breaker. He's got the whole WWE package. He is big. He is explosive. He is marketable as heck. He is every bit a WWE guy. And there is no doubt that this NXT run will do him wonders. And from there, there's big things afoot. Bron Breaker's already been fantasy booked into the main event of multiple WrestleManias. I think this is something that we may very well see manifested sooner rather than later. There are going to be many more videos and chapters in books told about Bronson Rex Steiner before his time is done. But for right now, that is everything you need to know about the NXT champion, Bron Breaker. Change his name to Steiner at some point, though. That, that'd, just, that'd just be nice. That'd just be nice. Stay safe. Love you, bye.